Hey guys, John V here from Phone Arena. I'm taking a look at the LG Nitro HD. I'm going to run a couple of different benchmark tests to show you guys what kind of results it's going to put up. But as far as overall usage with its dual core processor, it's decent, but sometimes it is laggy. You could tell here just navigating across the home screen. Uh, it doesn't quite keep up with the uh, tracking of my finger here. And every now and then you do notice some choppiness with its movement. But uh, it's still more than acceptable. Nothing really that bad, tell you true. So let's get started. Let's run the first benchmark test. We've already ran the Quadrant benchmark test. Um, first time here, it looks like we managed to get a 2574 score. So let's just uh, do this a, few, a couple more times to see if we get a consistent score. And you'll notice that it does run the test fairly quickly. So you know it's still a fast device, uh, even though it does exhibit some choppiness with its operation. But then again, that could be just attributed to the uh, skin running on top of everything else, the LG Optimus skin uh, with it, its various widgets and all that fun stuff. Uh, of course, that's going to you know, contribute to maybe some choppiness, but who knows. So it looks like these are graphical tests running roughly around 30 frames per second. So it's still pretty smooth. It's dropping, dropping down, you know, down to even 20 frames per second at times. Uh, this one here looks like it's consistently at 60 frames per second, so it's pretty good. And the last one, roughly between 25 26 frames per second on the average. And this should be finishing up soon. And let's see, the first score we get here is 2520, it looks like. So a fairly consistent score from before. Let's run this one more time, see if we get a same score, so roughly around 2500. Of course, that's nothing stellar just because we've seen devices like the Galaxy S2 skyrocket, even the Galaxy S2 uh, reaching score as well above 3000 on Quadrant. But again, these are just benchmark tests. You really can't uh, uh, go by the scores to get an accurate portrayal of the handset's overall performance. This one here is running around 30 frames per second, it looks like. Jump, jumping down a little bit every now and then, down to 20 frames per second. This one's usually consistent at 60 frames per second, which it is. And the last graphical test here, roughly 30 frames per second, it looks like. And we'll get the last score. So this time, it gives us a score of... 20, I think 2307. Yeah, 2307. So it dropped down a little bit, but it's roughly between the 2000 to 2600 mark from what we've been checking out. So uh, let's quickly show you the Antutu benchmark test we've already ran. Now it gave us a total score, pretty respectable score, total score of 5977. You can see all the uh, the uh, hardware, the uh, all the tests that it ran already, and when we pit it up against some devices in it with the chart here, you could tell the Galaxy Nexus is just a little bit above it. It does better than the Galaxy S2, the Optimus 2X, the Zooms before that, so it's pretty reasonable uh, with its results here. But again, that's just the benchmark test. You got to look at it with the overall usage of the phone. So we'll be testing out more see how it handles, but in the meantime, if you'd like to learn more about the LG Nitro HD, you can check out our website, phonearena.com.